So tonight we are talking about the flat belly lifestyle. These ladies have taken the opportunity. Oh, hold on one second. Media, all right. These ladies have taken the opportunity to take our flat belly lifestyle 2.0 challenge. They have done the 21 day cleanse and I have not done mine yet. I need to start on January 2nd, but I thought it would be good to bring these ladies on because they have had experience with this 21 day cleanse, with changing their lifestyle, with eating right for their blood type, with making sure that they're really taking back the health that they truly, truly deserve. Because that's what Wakanda is about, right? Taking back our health, wealth, legacy, and freedom. And with a healthy body, we are able to take advantage of all of those four pillars. So um, I wanted to give these ladies an opportunity to introduce the flat belly lifestyle. If you are not familiar with the flat belly lifestyle, please visit the website. Please come to our call on Sundays at 5 p.m. Central. Is it, Gigi? Yes. 5 p.m. Central? Yep. Our call yep. at 5 p.m. Central, we have a naturopath by the name of Dr. Eric Prince, who is really leading the charge and teaching us how to eat right for our individual blood types and how to eat to live, not just live to eat. Along with our uh, CEO, Melissa Boston, they are really giving us the information that we need to build our bodies back from the inside out. So with that being said, I want to allow these beautiful ladies to give their testimonials, to give their experiences with the flat belly lifestyle. So Gigi, since you've been coming on camera, I want to give it away to you. And then um, <laughs> Carol and Gail, I would really like to hear from you all as well. So uh, Gigi, you have the floor. Okay, well, thank you, Dr. Joy, for inviting me you know, to this platform with you. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, we got started with Wakana with the flat belly uh, lifestyle, you know, 1.0 back in August. And um, it's been really interesting because, you know, we having to make some changes that we really didn't think that we was going to have to make. But, you know, we were able to do it. At least I was able to do it. And I'm sure these ladies here was able to do it, too. So we have had quite a bit of success, um, you know, with the, uh, the flat belly lifestyle, where up until then to now, you know, I've lost like 10 pounds, but they had a challenge back then. I didn't participate in the challenge. Um, what I normally do is I work toward prevention because of the fact that I've had family members that have died you know, early in, you know, in their lives uh, from cancer, you know, um, you know, strokes and various other illnesses. So I always been that person that wanted to prevent things from happening to me. So I'm always trying to stay connected with the community that is doing those things. And that's what kind of has. We have a family that help support us to be able to stay in that frame of mind of, you know, health, you know, good health generational health. So um, the flat belly lifestyle, after our conference that we had in August, I kind of challenged you know, some people after we got a chance to know uh, Dr. Prince a little bit about his philosophy and his methodology when it came down to uh, plant-based and eating you know, for your blood type. You know, I kind of challenged you know, some ladies that we need to take off, you know, our lifestyle to the next level. And I went ahead and, you know, uh, proceeded to do that. And quite a few of them, the, you know, is doing that. So the flat belly lifestyle, you know, 2.0, you know, caused us to be able to eat according to our blood type, which I was shocked and surprised when I went to the corporate office and um, the CEO, Melissa, did my blood type because many of us don't even know what our blood type is. You can call the doctor's office and they, you know, they claim that they don't know what the blood type is, but they want you to come in, you know, take a test, pay them some money. Actually, that's what they want you to do. Pay them some money to do that. But what happened is uh, November the 6th, I went to Chicago. My blood, you know, was tested, found out it was B, got there. Um, and I was really shocked that B blood could not eat chicken. Okay. And I have been eating chicken pretty much all my life. I don't eat beef, I don't eat pork, so I'm thinking I'm eating healthy. And what had happened is I was devastated. <laughs> you know, uh, needless to say, that I couldn't eat the chicken. I wasn't supposed to eat, you know, shrimp, crabs, you know, lobster, all those things that I was raised on because I'm from Tampa around the coast, right? So we used to, you know, having all that seafood 
and then me trying to eat, you know, healthy because of things that had happened with my family members. You know, I was like, okay, what am I going to do? All right. But then what happened, Dr. Prince read the scan. He did the scan on me and he told me and showed me that my uric acid had been elevated. So what I did after that, I realized from pain, some pain that was in my toe was causing me some problems. Hang on. Had been causing me problems. I had maybe a week prior to that, I had pain in my toe and I didn't know where it come from. The only thing that was giving me some relief was when I put the topical on it you know, and it went away. But after he told me about my levels, I realized gout was trying to set in. So that was prevention for me. So I, you know, I thank Dr. You know, Dr. Prince, you know, for coming on board with Wakana, sharing his information with us because this is a tool that we can use to prevent some things. You know, you know, taking control of our bodies because you know I don't care for medications. I've never really been on reg a regimen of medication for blood pressure, diabetes, or anything. So you know, I work for prevention and. With the lifestyle that the lifestyle, uh, the flat belly lifestyle, um, since I dropped meat, okay, I completely seven weeks, no meat, no you know, no chicken, no fish, completely plant, you know, plant based. So far, I dropped as of today 11 pounds by juicing and eating raw vegetables, okay. I mean. These last three weeks, I'm almost off. I, I'm on day 19. I'm on day 19. I got my meal planned, what I'm going to eat for, yeah, for uh, Christmas Eve and, New, uh, and uh, Christmas, right? But anyway, um, since I've been doing uh, that, I found myself you know, having more energy. I found that my mind is a lot more clearer. Um, and I can see some of the progress that you know, I've been aiming for. I see that that happening you know, for me. I always believe that you should be taking care of your body on the inside. If you take care of it on the inside, bandits are gonna show up. Bandits are gonna have, it has to show up when you're taking care of the inside. So some things that I've been working on, working on, working on, I can see it start coming to flourishion. So I'm excited about that. Um, I had a dress that was in the closet for three years with the tags on it, three years. Could not zip it up in the back. Could not, couldn't even pull it together to zip it up. Now the dress is too big. Okay, <laughs> I had to take it to an alteration shop. You know, to and you know, had them to do something to it in order for me to be able to wear it. So it's a lot of benefits. You know, from it. You know, I I don't suffer from blood pressure, diabetes, all those things. But if I had not been introduced, you know, to this program with Dr. Prince, I possibly would have stepped in full-fledged, you're full-blown gout, okay? So I can tell you, the process is working, and I recommend it to all of us to get on board and let's run with it and take it not only for ourselves, but take it to our community. So that's my story. And you're that's sticking to it, huh? And I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, that's so important that you said that we talk about all the time and we're kind of how we're always about education, always about bringing things to our community, always about making sure that everybody has the tools that they need to succeed, not only in the wealth and legacy and freedom space, but in the health space as well, because we want to make sure that we are around to see all those other benefits. So thank right. you so much, Gigi. I really appreciate your testimonial. And we'll go right down to Gail. Gail, what has been your experience with the 21 Day Cleanse? What day are you on? How's it been for you? Oh, you're on mute. Okay, so I finished my 21 day challenge yesterday. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so I, I probably lost a good, I would say about six pounds. However, I started the whole challenge back in April and I have totally lost 30 pounds as of today. 
Wow. 30 pounds. Fantastic. I have not, I have never, ever thought I could lose that type of weight. I'd always gained 10 pounds, lost 10 pounds, you know, back and forth. I haven't felt this good, I would say, in 20 years. I mean, it's in, and like today, I have so much energy. After doing the 21 day um, cleanse, my energy is so high. I'm, I'm like cleaning up my entire apartment right now. I got three bedrooms, all hardwood floors. I've been on my knees, waxing floors. I mean, it's, it's just great. And I feel good. And the other thing that I kind of notice is that I feel happier. I mean, I don't, I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I just feel happier. I, I don't worry about certain things anymore. Um, I just have a much more positive outlook on life. I may be 20, 30 pounds. <laughs> it makes anybody have a better outlook, but I do feel a lot more positive, a lot more energy, and I'm really loving myself at this point. That is so amazing. And that really speaks to the fact that you are what you eat. A lot yeah. of times when people are put in, our, we, we have a tendency, sometimes we want a snack, we have cravings, we want junk food. But some of that stuff is not going to allow our mental states to elevate. It's not going to allow our emotions to be better. It can kind of change things in our brain chemistry sometimes, depending on the harmful things that we're eating, depending on the chemicals that are in our food, the things that have been injected. So absolutely. Were you gonna One say something? That I, um, you know, doing the 21 day challenge, because I'm a coffee drinker. I drink coffee. It's the first thing I do is make my coffee. You know, so I've been getting up and drinking water instead of coffee. Then I do my juicing. And I have not actually missed the coffee. I didn't miss it at all during those 21 days. Now I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it, but I will probably just do flat belly coffee and maybe, you know, once you know, maybe three or four times a week if I, if I feel like I need to, but I can't believe that I don't really have to drink coffee. And for me, that's, I mean, I'm, I was telling somebody I've drank coffee since I was about four years old. So <laughs> that's crazy. And I, you know, I know that I had some issues from the, from the scan that I did. They showed me where I was having some plaque buildup in one of my main arteries to my heart. So that made me really want to do this because I really don't have too many, I don't have any issues in terms of blood pressure, um, diabetes. Not The one thing that I did have was acid reflux. And again, I don't feel any of the acid reflux and that 21 day challenge, when you take that mucus buster, oh my God, for the first week, all I did was blow my nose. I had so much mucus in my body. I could not believe it. And I would always, I would always have a little, like a little, I could always cough up something. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing anymore. That for me was totally amazing. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's so much, there's so many things that go on in our body that we don't know because we're so used to the habits and the way that we eat. So for, for some of us who don't drink dairy milk anymore, I grew up on vitamin D milk. And now if I try to drink it, my stomach is torn up, okay? So, I mean, our, our bodies just, they adjust and they know what they need. And so when we put what we need in there, we're able to thrive so much more. So I'm so excited about you all's journey. Cheryl, I want to hear about your journey as well. And then I have some questions for you ladies. Okay. You ready for me? Hello, everyone. Um, can you see me? My name is Cheryl, Cheryl Johns. And uh, I, I agree with you, Gigi, and you, Gail, because uh, I started on the Flat Belly Challenge as well after I heard uh, Dr. Prince's testimony about the scan. And I've been on a health journey for the last maybe 30 years because my mother died in her early 60s. And I knew that I wanted to take care of myself. I didn't want to just live. I wanted a quality life. And I inherited high blood pressure. It is hereditary. Just because you inherit it doesn't mean you have to keep it. 
but the doctors weren't doing anything to help me get off this one medication that I take. But I am determined to get off of it. So after I took this scan, I had a few things wrong. And I had like a little plaque, uh, a little buildup. My cholesterol was a little high. And I really don't eat a lot of stuff. So this challenge was not hard for me because I don't eat anything but salmon. I cut out meat a long time ago. I haven't had meat in over 20 years. So people was like, why are you doing this on Thanksgiving? I don't eat turkey. I don't eat fish. I don't eat beef. I don't eat pork. I don't eat any of this stuff. I exercise. I am very active. So why am I having these issues on this scan? High cholesterol. I like avocados. I was eating avocados. According to my blood type, which I didn't know, I'm an old, I had to cut the avocados. I eat a lot of salad. Uh, there are a few other things that I'm not supposed to eat. When I found out, he gave me a list. I followed the schedule. I did the three drinks in the mornings. I did the salads. I ate raw. I feel much better. I only had one little issue, my elimination. I've always had problems with that as well. My mother had it. Um, I don't know about the rest of my family, but I do. So I ended up getting a colonic. I don't know if anyone knows what a colonic is, but I had that. I feel much better, much lighter. I'm moving better. I have more clarity. I am so glad that I got on this flat belly challenge so that I can live a quality life the rest of my life. I will be 70 soon, which in the next few years, and I want it to be the best life that I can have. Thank you. It is always so inspiring to hear you all stories, um, especially because there's a lot of us who say, I can't do that. I can't give up my chicken. I can't give up my meat. I can't do this and that. But it all starts with a choice. It all starts with a choice that you all made to say, I want my health to be better. I want my, I want my family to have me around. I want to deal with this, uh, this uric acid naturally. I don't want to have or make my, my uh, disease states that my family had hereditary because they don't have to be. I can change the dynamic of what's going on. So I'm always excited to hear you all's stories and I'm excited to start on January 2nd as well. I have to order my products and get started with you all. Um, so my question to you all, what was, um, which day do you feel like everything just clicked for you? So was it hard starting out and then there was a day where it was like, oh, I can do this. Or did you have some up and downs uh, along the way? Cause I want people to know this may be, this may not be easy when you first start, but as you continue and go through it, I've done a couple of cleanses, not this particular one, but it can be tough starting out. But then for me, there was a particular day where I was like, I can do this. And then I was able to move through. So did you all have that experience where it was a particular day or time during the cleanse where you kind of beat out all the, the mental hurdles and you were able to push forward? Do you remember what that day was if it did happen? Well, for me, oh, go ahead. Okay, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Oh, so for me, um, I would say it was probably day four because I was kind of getting a little bored with the stuff that I was eating. I mean, you know, you can only eat so many salads, but <laughs> I actually have a friend of mine sh get, showed me a couple of recipes that I use. I mean, it, it, it was just, it made everything taste good. It was, and it was all raw. But at that point, I knew that I could do this because I wasn't going to be bored with what I was eating. You know, I, I bought one of those little things that spiral. They were like, it spiral cuts your like squash. And I mixed that with a little pesto sauce. It was delicious. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> Well, initially, um, you know, Dr. Joy, uh, what happened with me, I think the first two days, you know, my body was reacting to what I was doing to it. You know, I was giving it 
the juice. I was giving it the supplements that had been recommended, you know, by Dr. Prince. And um, I think the first two days I, I, was ha I was feeling exhausted and I had a little bit of a headache, you know, those first two days. And it was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna make it through this, right? So um, just, you know, talking to some other people that had been through it gave me the support that it's gonna be over. It may be short lived, okay? So that's initially, you know, what happened with me. And then afterwards, I think it was like day five for me is when I could see I could get through it. And, you know, I didn't think that there were so many ways that you can do a salad, but I found all the ways <laughs> that you could do the salad, Mediterranean, you know, uh, you know, Asian, you know, so, you know, I just stayed, you know, on the journey of eating the salads and I found out too, I had to make sure that I was eating enough. And that's where my exhaustion was coming from, you know, too, that I was not giving my body enough of what it had needed. So once I started doing that and finding uh, other recipes, you know, like uh, marinated mushrooms, you know, with onions and stuff that was replacing for me, um, that kind of gave me a, you know, a sense of security that, you know, as long as I can put in enough, because you, you know, you're not hungry, you know, with the juicing, you, you, you really don't have an appetite because of the fact that you're feeding your body nutrition versus calories. And there's a difference, you know, that our body, you know, having to have the nutrition versus, you know, the calories, and that keeps the hunger pains down. But after I got past uh, day five, you know, I knew that I could do it. And I knew that it was something that I needed to continue in order for my family to be able to see me do it. And by my family watching me, you know, do it, there's, my husband is coming on to do it. And he was very supportive of me doing it, you know? so. And then, you know, my daughter, my youngest daughter, she was out of town and you know, she called me up and she said, mom, you know, I need some help with you ordering, you know, uh, the cleanse for me. So by me setting an example for my family, now I see them starting to follow suit. And that's, you know, it's pretty much all you want to do is to be able to be that inspiration, you know, family as well as to your community. You know, because this is something that we really have to give a lot of thought to, you know, to make sure that we embrace, you know, our world in a healthy way. And for me to see my family members and then some of my friends, you know, even, you know, cousins, I got a cousin that's in, in Tampa, I'm in Dallas, but in Tampa, you know, uh, ordered the flat belly. Yeah, she's doing, you know, uh, the 1.0. Oh, no, she's doing the flat belly lifestyle, uh, 2.0, but she's not doing the raw yet. But, you know, but they starting from somewhere, you know, somewhere, you know, start where you're comfortable at and then move up. But see, I had already been pulling away from, you know, meats. I only did the fish and, and the chicken, so it wasn't no problem for me to just you know, drop the chicken because what it was, it was poison to my body. So I wasn't gonna keep feeding myself poison, you know, so I just dropped it. But after I, you know, I got through day five, it was smooth sailing. Now I did hit some lows where, cause you know, Kathy Wesby and I, we kind of like, you know, help supporting each other, you know, through and then I have an, another teammate, Carol, she was way ahead of me already, Carol Signal. Um, you know, she was, you know, helping me to get through it as she went through it. And so just us doing it and I, you know, I'm loving that the company is going to be company wide with everybody. A lot of people are going to be doing this. There's going to be so much motivation, so much energy, you know, so much support with us doing this together because I'm going to do it uh, an extra week, you know, to help my husband, you know, to get through it, of course, you know, I'm gonna have me some fish and some steamed vegetables for, you know, uh, Christmas Eve 
and and Christmas, but when and I go back, I still eat according to my blood type. But what I want to do is, you know, get him started in because there's still some things that I want to do, you know, to support him because you know, I believe with that he supported me, so I need to try to help support him. But I know I can only do, you know, the cleanse for a certain length of time. Okay, so hey. It's only, hey, we, it's, I'm excited about being able to be 66 and still be in great shape, great health, you know, physically, mentally, and all. So, and I'm trying to hang on to that as long as I possibly can. So with this, I believe that I'll be able to do it for years to come and to be able to, you know, take it to our community. So I'm excited about this program. Well, I think for me, it was day eight. Day eight, when my, my juicer broke down. <laughs> I was like, I can't take it. Uh, I, I called Dr. Uh, Prince and I said, look, uh, am I going to get through this? He, that man would not let you fail. He yeah. said, you not going to fail. I'm bringing you a juicer over there. <laughs> wow, and excellent. Like, and I'm... I mean, I just continued on. Um, I got, I'm down to a size six. I haven't worn a size six in 30 years. I'm down hey. to 126. I've been small all my life. I really was not trying to lose weight, but I have. And I'm glad I did because I do feel better. I do. And you can see it. I move better. And my blood type, I never paid it in any attention. I'm a type O negative. Me too. Yeah, so, <laughs> you I know. Need to you. And what I like is he gives you what to avoid, what to, what to do after the, this challenge is over with. Right. He gives you a post. What things are beneficial, what things to stay away from, and what things that you can really benefit from so it's a very good program and he will not let you fail under any so circumstances yeah. it's a good program i mean just the community that's been talked about in this whole thing Gigi talked about how kathy was be holding her accountable and some of her other team members how dr prince brought you a juicer gail i've heard so many stories about your transformation and even seen pictures so just the fact that we have such a supportive community that um, looks out for one another, that gives each other advice, that makes sure that we're staying on the right track. I mean, that's what it's about. So anybody that's out here and they're looking, they're saying, I want to start my new cleanse. I want to start this new, uh, new year off right, but you're scared about it. Please don't be, because there is a way where you can give up your fish and give up your chicken. It's only temporary <laughs> and just see how you feel. Right. You know, that's the whole thing. You're saying you can't give it up, but just see how you feel. That sometimes it's a big feat for people to go from drinking pop to drinking water. You know, I understand it's baby steps, but like Gigi said, start somewhere. If you need to right. go all the way back to the first flat belly and just do the coffee and the gummies, those definitely do help with appetite suppression. I've used those myself, especially when I have to go to work early and my lunchtime isn't until late. I definitely notice the appetite suppression. So start somewhere. And then when you're ready to graduate and elevate, we'll be here to walk you through every step of the way. I'm, I'm so excited that this community is here and I'm excited for January 2nd as well. Um, one more question that I have for you ladies. What was your favorite recipe while you were on the flat belly lifestyle or while you're still on the flat belly lifestyle? Which one was your, would be your go-to if you say, I, I recommend this one above all the others? Well, my favorite recipe was I was making spring rolls. So just chopped up vegetables like um, carrots, uh, cabbage, um, some cilantro. Um, what else did I put in there? A couple other little things. And I would roll it in this very, very thin rice paper that, um, and then I got creative with it and I started putting a leaf, a, a large Boston lettuce leaf over the rice paper. Mm -hmm. So that when I rolled it, you saw the green leaf, you know, and it's, it was delicious. I mean, I, I think I ate that three or four nights in a row. <laughs> so. Okay. 
So lettuce wraps, I need to get that from you. Or um, spring rolls, I need yeah, to get that yeah. from you. Okay, Cheryl, what about you? Did you have a favorite recipe? And, uh, I spiralized some zucchini and I put a little bit of the Wakana uh, seasonings on and sprinkled some uh, lemon over it and uh, I think some olive oil and that was that was good. And you are old negative so I definitely need to get some tips from you because that is me. The thing is old negative can't drink coffee. Well, I, didn't, I haven't had any coffee and I haven't really wanted any. And what am I going to do with my what kind of coffee? <laughs> well, well, we have a different coffee. kind of coffee. So uh, our yeah. coffee is a lot more healthier than the other coffee. So, you know, you want, might want to talk to Melissa about that, you know, as All well. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So and I you, also like you? that same recipe that you're doing with the spiral zucchini and I did some spiral uh, yellow squash, but I made a pesto sauce out of uh, basil and olive oil and a little um, garlic and mixed that in there. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Nice. Well, my favorite was the mushrooms. Uh, because it gave me that texture, you know, like I was eating meat, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I used, well, I had the mushrooms, I put um, your know, garlic in it. I had the red onions, I cut up, you know, that in it. Also, um, I used two different types of vinaigrette, which was the mango vinaigrette, and then I had the uh, basanet vinaigrette that gave me, you know, a different flavor. And of course, you know, um, I sliced up, um, you know, when I wanted something, you know, sweet, what I would do is slice up, you know, the, you know, like the sweet potatoes, the raw sweet potatoes, you know, I would slice those up, you know, and that gave me uh, a sense of comfort, you know, <laughs> because you lose everything, you know, you get a lot of things that you couldn't, you know, eat, you had to become a little creative, you know, like these ladies talked about you know, they spire and, you know, the squash and the zucchini and, and different things. But I pretty much stay with the salads because I can go get me, you know, the Mediterranean salad. It was a kit. You know, some things in the kit I couldn't use. Uh, and I did the Asian, you know, mm -hmm. as well. And then, uh, you know, my mushrooms. And, and of course, uh, he did have where I could eat avocado. Right now, I could, you know, now when I come off it, I can't eat avocados the way I was. So I was able to dice them, you know, in my mushrooms. And it was great to either dice it in my salads and add walnuts, you know, to my salads you know, and pecans, you know, to it, you know, as well. So it, because it gave that crunchy feeling, you know, you, we, you know, <laughs> we so used to the chew aside, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, it's just something about it, you know? <laughs> We're so used to chewing, so we got to find other ways to, you know, to compensate for it. Mm -hmm. and, um, and also, too, I wanted to mention, too, um, I'm a type B, and I think typo, you know, they can pretty much eat almost all the meats, beef, and some other stuff, but, of course, Dr. Prince, he'll tell you we shouldn't be eating anything that has babies and eyes, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> anything with babies and eyes, all right? But, you know, my, you know, my family even asked me, well, what can you eat? What can you eat? See, if we look at it in terms of not what we can't eat, but all of what we can eat and still be able to be satisfied. Right. See, and I, and I think it's a, it's a mind thing. Yeah, you know, if we can take it, if you can put it here and start moving it into our hearts and understand why we are doing it and what we want from it, then we find it much easier to go through it. That's right. See the purpose this, you know, the purpose is to have ultimate, you know, health, right? To have a great quality of life, to be able to move around, you know, to do the things that we want to do, to be able to live a longer life than some of you know, our family members, some of our friends, and to be able to have, you know, good mental health. Because if our blood is not clean, flowing through our body, then other things is gonna, you know, have a malfunction. 
So we, you know, we're cleaning up our blood, we're cleaning up our, you know, our colon, our liver. There's been a dumping ground for everything that we've been putting in it that the blood rejects. You know, so, um, you know, we just, you know, trying to learn a new way of living now, you know, from the blood. Yeah, because the blood is the life to our bodies, right? So rather than mm -hmm. me looking at what I can't eat, I look at what I can eat. Right. All right. So, and I think it, and as you know, and I, I say that to everybody, look at what you can eat yeah. and work from there. That makes a whole lot of sense because there's a lot of times where people give up on whatever diets or cleanses or what have you because they get bored. And they say, I don't right. want to eat this, or I don't, I don't want to keep eating this, and they don't have any creativity or any variety. So then they go back to that meat, vegetable, and starch, or they go back to the junk food because it's sitting up there in right. the cabinet. But it right. doesn't have to be that way all the time. So to you all's point, there are different ways that you can get that sweet, that savory, that, that bitter, if you want, or that salty right. without having to use the things that have such artificial ingredients that have... Right. Um, chemicals and dyes and things that give us a false sense of satiety. So we think that we're full, but then right. we overeat because we need more sustenance because that wasn't truly nourishing, like the salad right. or like the juices or, you know, the other right. things that you all have been eating. This is good stuff. I'm so excited. We have a... Um, i tell you what I did do. I, I bought, I did buy a plant-based you know, cookbook okay. and I bought a raw cookbook. So I'm going to be using the recipes yeah, from there, you know, after you know, I finish this, that's what I'm going to do. You know, so I'm not going back. I'm not going back. It's and a lot of you see how you feel. Yeah, you see how you feel. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We right. have a class that didn't complete the 21 day cleanse, but she did the bitters. And we know that the bitters is helpful with for eliminating toxins and waste right. and things like that. So, Julie Causey, I'm going to allow you to speak. Are you still available to speak on your bitters experience? I am. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hello. So I'm going to try and take my time so I can get everything out. But I did not do the 21 day challenge. However, the bitters, when I first, um, well, let me give you a backstory. So I've tried so many different cleanses. I mean, spend money, ooh, gobs of money. And the amount you have to drink was insane. Like, I mean, it was ridiculous. So when I found out about the bitters, I'm like, oh, let me try it. So let me just give a disclaimer. It's nasty and oh, but, but don't add anything to it because that takes away from it. But when I say I took it at night so I can, you know, see how it would work so I'm not out in the street, you know. So anyway, um, it woke me out of my sleep, just to say that. And when I say the, the, the movement, the cleanse, it was complete. It was like, oh, my God, I was sold from day one. Because I've tried so many, I've called the, uh, the lady who sold me, she's a naphiopath and had, you know, all these special powders and mixes. You got to take 16 ounces of this, 16 ounces of that. I called her and I said, nothing's happening. She's like, well, maybe you're like really bagged up. So double it. I said, you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm doubling it, but it was never like, I never felt cleansed. And, you know, the lady was saying how she had a colonic, but with the bitters, that's all you need. And when I say the small, large, I really felt like, I mean, it was, it was incredible. But and then also, um, I'm going to post my pictures on the Wakanda site, but I have lost a lot of weight. I am back to my pre-baby weight, and my oldest child just turned 31. So let me just say, it's incredible. I was just in Cancun. I had a bathing suit on. I'm like, what? <laughs> I work out three times a week. I do a uh, aquatic ther uh, workout twice a week. I've changed my diet. I have not had fried food other than what I buy in the street. I have not cooked in my house with oil in probably over a year. The air fryer is amazing. I suggest everybody get one of those. I either air fry, grill, or bake my food. And then um, when I was in Cancun, you know, all my friends were like, oh my God, you're so small. Don't lose no more weight. What are you doing? I'm like, oh, well, you need to get on a bitter. We got flat belly coffee. We got flat belly bitters. We got everything. And then, okay, then one more thing, because now I'm, I'm rambling, but one more thing. All the products are freaking fantastic. The hair care line, I do hair. And when I tell you my clients, 
Oh my God, it's incredible. I've had clients that are, you know, real tender headed and that conditioner, that detangler, insane. Insane. They can actually feel one of my clients was like, that's a CBD product on my head, right? <laughs> he was like, he can feel the refreshness, the tingling, the coolness with the shampoo. He's bought the products. He, he was like, I felt something the first day, you know, and I was like, well, keep using them. He's in love with them. And so I referred all my girlfriends to go on a site and get the products. Because when I say it works for you to tell me don't lose no more weight. Mm, okay. <laughs> don't hate. I love it. I love it. I was 152 pounds before I started. I'm down to 115. I see y'all clapping. Thank I can't you, hear y'all. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm not losing anymore. I just want to firm, but I'm still doing the cleanse. And when I came back from Cancun, that next day I did the immune defense. Got it. So, mm -hmm. And I put my, my grandbaby came into town. I had him taking it too. Mm -hmm. And I put, I put the pure in all my juices for my kids. So they don't even know they take the CBD every time they get a cup of juice. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. <laughs> But thank you guys. Thank you so much. I mean, thank you for touching on all the products. Thank you for telling us your amazing story. And thank you for hitting on something that the other ladies hit on as well. It's not just about what you're eating. It's not just about what you're giving up, but it's also about your exercise, your physical, yes. exercise, your movement. That's so yeah. important. And you're hitting, you're hitting all the points. I'm so I know, honey. When I walk too. past the mirror, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me. Right, but I'm going to post the pictures so y'all can see, and I'm going to post the hair growth pictures because I document everything. Yes, so yes, it's incredible. If we have any guests on who aren't familiar with the hair care line, we have a hair party on Mondays at 2.30 Central Time. And Doris Mosley, who is our trichologist, she gets on and talks about our hair products. She does live demonstrations. We have no shortage, like I said, of education here, no shortage of product information, and there is almost something every day for anything that you may be interested in with regard to Wakana. Tonight was about our, our cleansing products and our 21-day cleanse that we have coming up, but we have no shortage of products for every part of those billion-dollar industries that we talk about being a part of. And so the look, gummies. And the, the gummies. gummies. I mean, it's, it's just... All my, it's I take a gummy and it just takes the edge off. I'm like, I can function, I can deal with everybody, and I'm just like, ooh, just smooth sailing. <laughs> That's right. So if you are interested in any of our products, if you want to know more about the cleanse, of course, the Flat Belly Lifestyle, I'll share this again. Um, here is the website, www.flatbellylifestyle.com. If you have any questions or concerns, please get back with the person that invited you out and they will be able to get you set up with your scan, tell you who you need to call or what you need to email to get your scan to start the 21 day cleanse on January 2nd with us to order your products. If you want other what kind of products, feel free to go to their website as well. This has been an amazing talk, ladies. I really appreciate you all coming on and agreeing to talk with me and be so transparent with your stories. Um, if there's any closing remarks that you all have, I'm happy to hear them. And once those closing remarks are done, we are going to bid the guests good evening. So anything, any last minute encouragement or any last minute thoughts that you all have? Uh-oh, Cheryl, if you're talking, we can't. I just want to thank you for inviting me. And everyone, if you're considering, you should join the challenge. It's worth it. And I have your number now, so I'm definitely going to be calling you for recipe ideas since we're both O negative. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I want to say thank you to uh, Dr. Joy for inviting me, you know, to uh, be a part of this panel. And I just say uh, to everyone, you know, get on board. Your life is not going to be the same. Just like Julie is talking about, uh, you know, how she feel about herself and walking by the mirror and, you know, not only, you know, uh, walking by the mirror, mirror, but checking herself out. You know, fall in love with yourself all over again, you know. So, it, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing feeling. And, uh, and let's just continue to support each other, you know, to get there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I just wanted to say one more thing. Mm -hmm. um, when you all were talking about different foods, I came across just by happenstance, because I do greens, uh, uh, mustard and, and uh, turnip greens. But my boyfriend, he really likes kale. So we were in peace. And I didn't know they had so many different types of kale. 
So mm-hmm. we did buy all like the five types they had. We used vegetable broth and boiled them, cleaned them, boiled them for two hours. When I say the best, I mean, they're better than greens. Mm-hmm. And that's another good cleanser, just so y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. All right. Okay. <laughs> bet. Thank you, Julie. Gail, did you have any closing remarks? Yeah, it, you know, for me, um, sometimes I just, I'm just so happy with what I did. I can't believe that I went from a size 16 to a 10. And I almost feel like I'm in a dream that I, I just don't believe I did it, you know, and that's all I have to say. I'm just, I'm so happy. <laughs> Yes, you are a walking amazing, testimony amazing. to your friends and family. I, I used to be a model, so, you know, I'm, I'm a little vain, and, you know, I, you know, hey, I just, I'm so hey, great about hey. myself. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that girl. Hey, That's girl, okay. you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't have said it on the Zoom. We're going to figure out how to do it. What kind of modeling show? All right. All right. <laughs> We're going to figure it out, and you're going to be on the runway. Don't worry about it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> well, ladies, thank you all so much. It is now 846. So I am going to bid everybody good night. But again, get back with the person that invited you. Go on to that flatbellylifestyle.com. Join us on our Flat Belly Lifestyle call on Sundays at 5 p.m. And with that being said, I hope you all have a great night. Be safe, be careful, be well. And we will see you all on our next call next Wednesday at 8. All right. Have a good night, ladies. Thank you all again so much.